Hi, I'm Travis Kowalski. I'm the interim head of the Department of Mathematics here at the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, and I wanted to take a few moments to tell you about the mathematics program here at our school. And like any good mathematician, I'm going to do it with a whiteboard. There's a lot of things that you could do when you come to college. Maybe you've got an interest in some form of engineering, or you want to uncover the secrets of the universe and you're more of a science kind of person. Or maybe you've got an interest in working with people and you're a part of the health and management sphere of things at our school. Even though these are wildly different topics, they do have a common intersection. And that common intersection, the thing that binds all of these majors together, is mathematics. So what is it about mathematics that makes it such a common entity? Well, if we go way back in time, Galileo Galilei, famous Italian scientist, said that mathematics is the language with which the universe is written. More recently, the president of the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology said that mathematics is the shortest distance between any two SD Mines majors. I'm going to take a slightly different tack on this. I'm going to define mathematics as the common human language for recognizing, classifying, and predicting patterns. Patterns come in all different forms. We can talk about patterns of shape, or maybe we're going to talk about patterns of numbers. We can also talk about patterns of symbols. And when we have all of these patterns working together, we can draw logical conclusions about what new patterns might be. Now, I know you're saying, that's cool and everything. I want to go and get a degree. What's a degree in mathematics going to do for me? Well, let's go with my definition. Mathematics is a language for predicting and solving patterns. But every real-world problem involves identifying some crucial factor and abstracting them into a pattern. So mathematics is a problem-solving language for solving real-world problems. What kind of real-world problems can you solve with this? This represents some of the jobs our majors have gone into. Data analysis and visualization, working with big data. Statistical analysis and prediction, trying to find patterns in the noise. Actuarial and financial analysis, using that skill set to do risk analysis. Uh, software testing and development for our double majors with computer science, and then any of a number of others who've gone on to work in the defense industry, the energy industry, telecom, aerospace, pharmaceuticals. It might be more illustrative to show you some of the places our graduates have gone to work. If I haven't convinced you enough yet, let's take a look at two different lists of best jobs. Business Insider gave their list of the best jobs in America for 2019, and data scientist, data engineer, and data analyst were among those. On the other hand, U.S. News & World Report put out their list of the 100 best jobs in 2019, and number one and two were statistician and mathematician, and the 100 best jobs in America for the current year include statistician and mathematicians, so it turns out that some of the best jobs in the United States are for mathematicians. All right, I've convinced you that mathematics is a good deal, but what about mathematics here at the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology? First, we've been an American best college buy for 19 years and we were ranked number one in South Dakota for return on investment by pay scale. Our math graduates have a 98% job placement rate after school, and our math graduates have a 100% graduate school acceptance rates for those who decide to go on to grad school. The math major is also one of the most popular and powerful double majors on campus, but maybe most importantly, SD Mines faculty are nationally recognized for their pedagogy and research in mathematics. In the past 20 years, our faculty have won numerous awards for their expository writing. So what is this award-winning curriculum? Well, it's this, the BS in Mathematics. It consists of a core of mathematics courses designed to give you a broad exposure to mathematics, with electives chosen to give you a competitive edge in the business world. A collection of 13 credits of computational courses designed to give you some exposure to computer science and data analysis. Science and general education credits with 36 elective credits designed to give you and your advisor the ability to specialize your math major to make you more hireable or to make it easier for you to double major if that's your plan. But my favorite part of the curriculum are these two credits right here, a year-long exposure and undergraduate research, where students are given the chance to investigate a problem, to write a technical paper, and to give presentations, training them for what mathematical work in the real world is like. So that's the curriculum at a glance. I know I went through it pretty quickly, so if you've got any questions, by all means, send me an email at travis.kowalski at sdsmt.edu. So I hope that's been able to answer some of your questions about the math program here at the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. If you've got some more questions, why don't you come and join us in one of our Zoom open houses a little bit later on today, or send me an email at travis.kowalski at sdsmt.edu. Thanks for listening to me, and I hope to see you soon.